Hey guys, it's Renee, welcome to my channel. So today I'm pretty excited because we're going to be making some festive teddy bear cookies. To start with these cookies, I'm going to be using my chocolate cookie dough actually that I got this online. I'm going to link the place where I got the original recipe below. And I just made half the recipe, so again, my version is going to be linked below. But it's just super delicious guys, it tastes like brownies. I'm going to be rolling my cookie dough with my rolling pin with spacer bands and I'm going to link the DIY of this below. This will help your cookies look the same, like the same uh, thickness and because of that they are going to look cuter. Then I'm going to be taking my teddy bear cookie cutter and I bought this a long time ago at the local bakery supply store but I've seen them all over the place. So I'm just going to cut a few teddy bears. Once I have done that and before I bake my cookies, I'm just going to make the holding arms which is pretty much just kind of pulling that small piece of cookie dough, which are the arms. So once they are baked, it's going to kind of simulate they are holding or just hiding something. So once I have done that and my cookies are baked and cooled for a while, I'm just going to work on my sketches or my stencils to make my candy cane and my little Santa's hat. First drawing my candy cane and my hat, you know, in a piece of paper and just then cutting those pieces and then just placing them on the top to see if that was the right size for my teddy bear because I didn't want it to be too small or too big. And then just to make it easier for next step, which is uh, when I apply my royal icing, I'm just going to mark them with my black marker all around the figure. Then I'm just going to get a piece of paper and I'm just going to stick together my hat and my candy cane into that piece of paper to make it easier for me to just handle the whole thing. Once I start working with my royal icing, it's going to make sense once we start actually. But for the actual part of the royal icing, I found it easier to just first take a piece of parchment paper, then cut it into stripes. And then those stripes I'm going to cut into squares. Once I have my kind of pattern on the table and my little squares of parchment paper, I'm just going to start working. And for the parchment paper pieces, I'm just going to place a kind of the shiniest part on the top. Then I'm going to be start working with my royal icing. And I do have a recipe, it's going to be linked below. And first starting with my white pieces, then I'm going to be kind of removing all air bubbles with my scribe tool which I do have a tutorial as well on my channel, I'm going to link below. Followed by that, I'm going to just start working my candy cane, which is pretty much following the lines of my pattern. First the outline and then the filling and then removing the air bubbles. And before that dries, I'm going to add my red stripes that candy canes have. I'm using a Marie Color gel food coloring for this and they are super awesome. And then I'm just going to let the whole thing uh, dry and crust and once everything is dry, I'm just going to work on the red part of my hat and I let it dry because I find it cuter because it gives like a kind of a 2D-ish effect. So once everything is dry and make sure it's like super super dry because if not, the next step is not going to work. You're going to just break the icing. I'm just going to take some uh, Marie Color Gel food coloring and I'm going to be mixing it with some almond extract with a bit of this codas and this is in rainbow. And then with using a toothpick, I, I'm going to start drawing my holly berries. I just looked an image online of holly berries and I just paid myself to draw those in my real icing. First, I'm going to be working on the green one. And once that's kind of dry, I'm just going to add the red ones and I'm just working with my red gel food coloring with uh, almond extra as well. And then I let the whole thing dry. They are going to dry shiny, so don't freak out about that. But I'm just going to separate my pieces from my parchment paper and be pretty gentle because they do tend to break and I tend to do more than what I actually need just in case I break a few in the process, which has happened to me many times before. Then to add these pieces on my bear, I'm just going to glue them with my royal icing, which acts like glue as well. The realizing on the candy cane is going to be like on the background of it. I decided to go on the like kind of ear and then place my hat on the top. And that's pretty much of the teddy bear itself. I think it looks super cute. I do have a kind of a summary version of this if you want to check it out. And I'm just going to put the link below to that one. Now what happens when you want to transport them elsewhere? Here's an idea. I wouldn't go and just place my teddy bears on like bags because most likely the hat is going to break 
I would just suggest you to put your teddy bear inside of a cupcake wrapper and then place it on a cute uh, box bag or something like that. But here's my take on it. I'm just going to make holes on my cupcake wrapper with my whole maker and this one is pretty gross but still gets the job done and then I'm going to be using some twine you can use some pretty ribbons as well some passive ones as well pretty much up to you and up to what you have this is all I have at the moment and then for a bit of presentation I just made a knot in there now he can travel and nothing is going to happen to his hat but yeah this is pretty much all I wanted to share I think they look super cute you know holding the little candy cane and all the rest up so if you liked it don't forget to give me a thumbs up share this video subscribe to my channel for more Merry Christmas and I'll talk to you later